Hi, I am Dr. Alper Gökçe. I am going to talk about degenerative joint disease of the knee. Let's look at its structure, medically said its anatomy. The knee is the largest joint in the body and having healthy knees is required to perform most everyday our activities. Normal knee anatomy in a healthy knee these structures work together to ensure smooth, natural function and movement. The knee is made up of the lower end of the tight bone femur, the upper end of the shin bone tibia and the kneecap patella. The ends of these three bones are covered with articular cartilage, a smooth substance that protects the bones and enables them to move easily within the joint. The menisci are located between the femur and the tibia. These C-shaped wedges act as shock absorbers that cushion the joint. Large ligaments hold the femur and the tibia together and provide stability. The long thigh muscles give the knee strength. All the remaining surfaces of the knee are covered by a thin lining called the snivel membrane. This membrane releases a fluid that lubricates the cartilage, reducing the friction to nearly zero in a healthy knee. Normally, all of these components work in a harmony, but disease or injury can disrupt this harmony, resulting in pain, muscle weakness and reduced function. As happens to all synovial joints, knee can be damaged with trauma, aging, or after inflammatory conditions. This disease begins initially at cartilage tissue and spreads out to all other components of the joint. Even the bones, which are strongest parts of it, can be severely deformed. If non-surgical treatments like medications and using walking supports are no longer helpful, you may want to consider total knee replacement surgery. Joint replacement surgery is a safe and effective procedure to relieve pain, correlate leg deformity and help you resume normal activities. According to clinical researchers, people who benefit from total knee replacements often have severe knee pain or stiffness that limits everyday activities, including walking, climbing stairs and getting in and out of chairs. It may be hard to walk more than a few blocks without significant pain and it may be necessary to use a cane or walker. Moderate or severe knee pain while resting either day or night, chronic knee inflammation and swelling that does not improve with rest or medications. Knee deformity may seen evolving in or out of the knee failure to substantially improve with other treatments such as anti-inflammatory medications, cortisone injections, lubricating injections, physical therapy or other surgeries. The question before decision is to undergo to surgery is, am I the right candidate for it? There are no absolute age or weight restrictions for total knee replacement surgery. Recommendations for surgery are based on a patient's pain and disability, not age. Most patients, most patients who undergo total knee replacements are aged 15 to 60, but orthopedic surgeons evaluate patients individually. Total knee replacements have been performed successfully at all ages, from the young teenager with the juvenile arthritis to the elderly patients with degenerative arthritis. After having made all clinical and laboratory tests and examinations, including detailed X-ray pictures, patients are taken to the hospital. The surgery is usually made under general or epidural anesthesia. The procedure is simple, restoration, recovering of the joint surfaces with artificial implants. A longitudinal incision is made in front of the knee and bone surfaces are prepared for the selected implant, which is determined according to the soft tissue balance of the patients. Usually implants are sticked with bone cements to the underlying bones. 
two or three days of hospital stay would be enough for caring the wounds and pain management. After relieving the surgical edema, physiotherapy is begun and range of motion is enhanced with further rehabilitation. Most people who have total knee replacement surgery experience a dramatic reduction of knee pain and significant improvement in the ability to perform common activities of daily living. But total knee replacement will not allow you to do more than you could before developed arthritis. With normal use and activity, every knee replacement implant begins to wear in its plastic spacer. Excessive activity or weight may speed up this normal wear and may cause the knee replacement to loosen and become painful. Therefore, most surgeons advise against high-impact activities such as running, jogging, jumping or other high-impact sports for the rest of your life after surgery. Realistic activities following total knee replacement include unlimited walking, swimming, golf, driving, light, hiking, biking, ballroom dancing and other low-impact sports. With appropriate activity modification, knee replacements can last for many years. The complication rate following total knee replacement is low. Serious complications such as knee joint infection occur in fewer than 2% of patients. Major medical complications such as heart attack or stroke occur even less frequently. Chronic illness may increase the potential for complications. Although common, when these complications occur, they can prolong or limit full recovery. Please discuss with us your concerns truly with your orthopedics or other surgeons prior to surgery. Infection may occur in wound or deep around the prosthesis. It may happen when days or weeks of your surgery. It may even occur years later. Minor infections in the wound are generally treated with antibiotics. Major or deep infections may require more surgery and removal of the prosthesis. Any infection in your body can spread to your joint replacement. Blood clots in the, leg in the leg veins are one of the most common complications of the knee replacement surgery. These clots can be life-threatening if they break free and travel to your lungs. Your orthopedic surgeon will outline a prevention program which may include periodic elevation of your legs, lower leg exercises to increase circulation, sport, stroke stocking and medications to thin your blood.